Welcome to another GED math video from ultimateged.com. Let's try our hands on these common GED math questions. Question 1. Find the circumference of the circle below. The formula to find the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. This formula will be given to you on the GED. You have to be very familiar with the GED formula sheet before taking the test. For this question, the diameter has been given as 5 centimeters. We can substitute this value into the formula to find the circumference. Circumference equals pi, which has been given as 3.14 times 5, which is the diameter. We multiply to get our circumference as 15.7 centimeters. Most students get questions like this wrong only because they don't know the formula is on the GED formula sheet. Question 2. Solve for x in 2x plus 4 over 3 equals x minus 2. To pass the GED, you have to be decent at solving equations. There's no way around that. Please, we have a complete free beginner's level video on how to solve equations. You can check it out for more. Link in description. To solve this equation, we want to isolate the variable x on one side of the equation. Let's start by getting rid of the fraction on the left side. To do this, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 3. The 3 will cancel out. Next, we can distribute the 3 on the right side of the equation. 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. We now have 2x plus 4 equals 3x minus 6. To isolate the x variable, we need to get all the x terms on one side of the equation and all the constant terms on the other side. Let's subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. The 2x will cancel out. 3x minus 2x is 1x, which is simply x. We now have 4 equals x minus 6. Finally, we can add 6 to both sides to isolate x. The 6 will cancel out. 4 plus 6 is 10. So the final answer is x equals 10. Question 3. Write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form with a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of negative 3. This is another question that is super easy to solve once you know that the formula is given to you on the GED formula sheet. The slope-intercept form of a linear equation is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. We are given that the slope is 2 and the y-intercept is negative 3, so we can substitute these values into the slope-intercept form. y equals 2x plus negative 3. Plus negative is the same as minus. So this is y equals 2x minus 3. Therefore, the equation of the line with a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of negative 3 is y equals 2x minus 3. Question 4. Given that f of x equals 2x plus 4, find f of 3. The work here is just substituting the x with 3. So we have f of 3 equals 2 times 3 plus 4. 2 times 3 plus 4 is 10. Therefore, f of 3 equals 10. Please, don't get confused when changes are made to questions like this. Stick to the process, and you'll get the correct answer. If you are supposed to find f of x plus 2, we just replace the x with x plus 2. We have f of x plus 2 equals 2 times x plus 2 plus 4. We can distribute the 2. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 2 is 4. We can then simplify. 4 plus 4 is 8. So we have f of x plus 2 equals 2x plus 8. We followed the same process. Question 5. If a spinner is divided into eight equal sections, with three sections labeled A, two sections labeled B, and three sections labeled C, what is the probability of landing on B? The probability of landing on a section labeled B can be found by dividing the number of sections labeled B by the total number of sections on the spinner. In this case, the spinner is divided into eight equal sections, with two sections labeled B. Therefore, the probability of landing on B is 2 over 8. We can reduce this fraction. 2 can divide itself 1 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Probability of landing on B 
is therefore 1 over 4. We will end this video here. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check out the full course at ultimateged.com.